Be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over some common pitfalls that you will face when trying to update to the latest version of Logic Pro, which is Logic Pro 11. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, first things first, you're gonna have to have the latest um, OS, okay? The latest OS, um, you need to lease Venture um, or higher, okay? So this is a kind of the process that I start taking. First, I'm like, okay, I know I have hired in Venture, so a first step I did is like, well, maybe I need to go ahead and go back to Venture. So I try to do that. You know, what I mean, all you have to do is search um, in the app store for Venture and then it will pop up. And then, you know, you start going through the process of doing that. Now, if you have a computer that already has a higher um, OS, which I'm using that Sonoma, you know, what you want to do then is make sure that you're on the latest version of Sonoma okay which I wasn't I was a uh, I was on like 14.1 and I should be on 14.5 alright cool so now once you go ahead and handle that get the latest update now you're able to go ahead and get uh, the latest upgrade to Logic Pro 11 now you're gonna face some problems with that though uh, one of the problems that I faced was I changed my phone number okay so I set up my I uh, Apple ID maybe um, in 2011 2001 when I got this computer and since then I've changed my number and so sometimes what will happen is you have to go through a whole process to now change your number in the Apple ID which is what I'm going through so you're actually technically not going to get any new videos on Logic Pro 11 until next week and so I just kind of wanted to share that with you all that some of these things are some things you might face. Um, and so I'm going to just go ahead and highlight it one by one again. First of all, you might need to get a new computer because your computer may not uh, be able to update to the latest OS. In my case, I was lucky. You know, I got a pretty newer one, so I am able to do that. But you want to also make sure that the OS you have is at the latest version. So it has venture you know what i'm saying that's the least amount of os that you can have you can have that or higher so you want to make sure that you at least get that venture os or go up to the latest version um and then from there you're just looking at making sure that you know your apple id and everything is important and you know has everything right so you can log in okay so those are the things and steps you want to take to make sure that you can update to the latest version of Logic Pro 11. Appreciate y'all watching. If you have questions or anything like that, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. We're out.